Hello and welcome to another video by me, the Raji Pie Guy. The date is the 29th of February 2016 and a very exciting product has just been released. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the Raspberry Pi 3. With a new quad-core 1.2GHz 64-bit processor, 1GB of RAM, an onboard wireless LAN and Bluetooth, the latest slice of pie has just been served. Exactly four years on from the original Raspberry Pi launch, you can now purchase a credit card sized PC that is 10 times faster than its original generation, and the best part is that it features the same $35 price tag. Without further ado, let's take a look at the new hardware. So the Pi 3 maintains the same popular board size and layout as its predecessor, the Raspberry Pi 2. The new Pi measures 85 by 56 by 17 millimeters, just as before, however there is quite a bit more computer packed into that tiny form factor. At the heart of the board you'll find a shiny new CPU, the Broadcom BCM2837. This is a 1.2 GHz 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex A53 chip. Upon reflection, this is a huge upgrade from the 900 MHz 32-bit quad-core found in the old Pi 2, and an even larger upgrade when compared to the Pi 1's 700 MHz single-core CPU. To accompany the new processing power, the Video Core 4 graphics unit has been given a clock boost from 250 MHz on the old Raspberry Pis to 400 MHz on the new Pi 3. The RAM remains at 1 gig of DDR2, however I've found this to be plenty. The Pi 3 of course still supports 1080p full high definition video. After four years, the Raspberry Pi 3 also brings the addition of two of the most asked for features on a single board computer. 802.11 BGN Wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.1. This is a monumental step forward as it means the Raspberry Pi can now connect to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth networks without the need of an adapter of any kind. The wireless antenna is this small component here and according to the foundation, the Pi 3's wireless range is at least as good as your smartphones. The Raspberry Pi 3 comes equipped with both the classic version of Bluetooth as well as the low energy version. This will come as excellent news to people interested in Internet of Things projects and Bluetooth opens up a whole new world of possibilities. For example, I was able to get my Pi 3 to transfer a file to my Nexus 5. Consumers will be pleased to know that both the wireless LAN and Bluetooth use the SDIO interface, the same one that the SD card uses. Consequently, wireless and Bluetooth are not limited in the same way as devices attached to the USB interface. Continue going around the board and you'll see the familiar sight of four USB 2 ports and a 10100 Ethernet jack on the right hand side. These have not been changed from the previous generation. Moving around and you'll also see the HDMI port, 3.5mm audio jack and micro USB power connector. The Pi 3 is still capable of full HD output over HDMI and also supports composite video through the 3.5mm jack. With the addition of more powerful circuitry and the added wireless capabilities, the Pi 3 does use more energy than the Pi 2. It is recommended that you use a decent power supply, preferably 5.1 volts at 2.5 amps. Finally, the 40-pin GPIO connector is the same as last time, with the usual I2C, SPI interfaces, etc. Not surprisingly, the Pi 3 is completely HAT compliant and features both the CSI and DSI connectors for the Raspberry Pi official camera and display modules. The underside of the board is also a similar affair to the last time, with the 1 gig RAM package and micro SD card slot nestled on the bottom. Now that we've taken a tour of the hardware, let's take a look at how the Pi 3 performs. Here I've booted up the latest version of Raspbian and hooked up a keyboard and mouse. The Raspberry Pi 3 is connected to my home Wi-Fi network and this allows me to browse the internet through the Epiphany browser. Thanks to the processor boost, Raspbian has never felt more fluid. The speed at which applications open can even be startling. When games such as Minecraft Pi are launched, the Pi 3 performs without a single glitch. You can even multitask properly. Here I am simultaneously watching YouTube and playing Minecraft. When going back to an old Raspberry Pi 1, the speed difference is truly dramatic. Once again, I've been incredibly impressed by the latest offering from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Pi 3 has impressive specs, wireless capabilities, and sticks to the previous form factor. 
With its launch, the seemingly infinite range of Pi projects just got a lot larger and I cannot wait to see this new hardware in the hands of hobbyists and beginners alike. The Raspberry Pi 3 Model B goes on sale from the 29th of February 2016 for the same low price as all of its predecessors, $35. You can check the description below to find links for where to buy one from. It goes without saying that I'd highly recommend the Raspberry Pi 3 to anyone and everyone. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I have time for, but don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye!